link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12 month subscription. Welcome back race fans to Marvel Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah here to welcome you to the Catalonia Grand Prix. In the qualifying we saw what type of chaos the tight hairpin in this track can cause. A new feature of this series these marbles are definitely going to have to adjust to in this race. Just a friendly reminder that this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Their service allows you to watch movies and videos that are normally not accessible in your country with a click of a button. Link in the description. Pomona sits on pole position being followed by Sparky and Big Dogs. How will these marbles be able to do in this race? Big Dogs is the only marble out of these three that have ever won a race. Uh, sitting in third place with Black Pirates in fourth place. He's doing well and having a comeback in this season. Gold Piston is in fifth, our pole sitter from last race. We'll have to see how he does in this race as well. Some of the big names in the season so far, such as Arrow Frog, Loose Wheel, Night Rivers, are all sitting right next to each other, right in the middle of the starting grid. Pink Pearl is having a hard time as well, being near the back of the field to see if she's going to be able to have a comeback being the champion of last race. Here are some stats about our pole sitter Mamonas as we look at the pole standings. He sits in 8th place in the standings. He has never won a race in the history of marble circuits. The highest he's placed in this season is 4th with the lowest being 12th in last race. He finished last place which is definitely a hard place to finish. And uh, he's trying to make the most of this race sitting in pole position after having a good qualifying. We'll have to see is if he is up to the pressure today here in Catalonia. The marbles are ready, and I think it's about time to start racing. And now, for race 5 of the Marble Circuits 2022 here in Catalonia. The lights are on. And we're off with Sparky taking the lead right at the beginning of the race as well as Big Dogs. And Mamonas takes the drag reduction zone, but luckily the drag reduction zone is disabled for the first lap. As we take the first look at this hairpin, which we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on for the remainder of this race, Pink Pearl has taken the lead. Sparky is coming in at second. Mamonas has fallen down to third. He has to try to catch back up and get back in first place right in this first lap already but he is losing ground as black pirates takes third place pink pearl trying to have a second win in a row is she going to have a major comeback in the second half of this season we'll have to see as she takes the drag reduction zone there she's facing a lot of pressure pressure from others these other marbles as well as mamonas who takes first place there she is now in second place as she, and uh, sparky is in third place Mamonas is trying to take his first win of this entire series. He has not had a win in Season 1 or Season 2. We'll have to see how he does in this race as well. Carol Frog is already up in 4th place, just as I was saying that Black Pirates takes 3rd place from him. Mamonas has now gotten the fastest lap, 31.220 time. Let's see if anyone else can get the fastest lap. Every little point counts in this race. Black Pirates is facing some pressure from Big Dogs as we go through these meandering corners. Black Pirates also is trying to get his first win of this entire series. He's having a comeback in this race and this series as well. He started in fourth place on the starting grid. We'll have to see if he can catch up and make any more places. And now Big Dogs has taken back the fastest lap with the time of 30.52 or 532. And look at that, Arrow Frog gets stuck in the hairpin, getting rammed by multiple marbles. What a tragedy for Arrow Frog. He has really been a crash magnet in this season. And Black Pirates takes the lead from Mamonas. Black Pirates trying to take his first win, and Mamonas now is trying to take it back there neck and neck. But Black Pirates is still able to hold the lead as we enter the fifth lap. We have 12 laps today, so it's a cho shorter race in terms of numbers of laps, but is a longer track. And another ram from behind from Big Dogs to Mamonas through that hairpin. Seems like it's kind of an inevitable part of the hairpin that we're going to have to see in this race. Black Pirates is extending himself here as Mamonas takes second place back from Big Dogs. Mamonas has lost the lead since the start of the race and he's having a hard time keeping it as he is trying to catch back up to Black Pirates who is doing a good job at keeping the lead at this point. He does go through the drag rejection zone but still so does Mamonas and Big Dogs. The 
go up the booster here through the hairpin. My, uh, and Big Dogs is trying to catch up to Mamona. Big Dogs has had one victory of this series, winning race one of season two. He wants to put another victory under his name. It's going to have to be hard because he has to try to pass Mamonas and Black Pirates at this point. Pink Pearl is slowly coming up the standings, coming up in six now. She started way back down farther in the pack. As we go down this back straight here, Big Dogs has taken first place up the booster with Black Pirates now putting some pressure on him. And Mamonas passes Black Pirates. Good move through there. And now Mamonas is putting some pressure on Big Dogs. And Mamonas takes first place from Big Dogs there. And Big Dogs takes it right back. They are having a dog fight here for the first place. Mamonas, the split between Mamonas and Big Dogs is 0.9 seconds. We'll have to see if M Big Dogs can extend that any longer as Mamonas takes the drag reduction zone there. Black Pirates is using that to his advantage and tries to catch back up. And Arrow Frog is now in second place. A great move by Arrow Frog using the hairpin to his advantage. After this tragedy in the hairpin before, he has learned how to use this correctly. Arrow Frog also wants another win in this season. He won race two of this season. He'll have to see how he does as well. The split is now 0.6 seconds behind Big Dog. Can Big Dog uh, be able to keep the lead for the remainder of the race? We only have three more laps to go and uh, Big Dog will be champion. Black Pirates and Mamonas though are still in the runnings. They want to be able to take this win as well as we go through these meandering corners once again. Black Pirates is definitely thriving under his new leadership and crew chief after uh, having a terrible first couple of races. We're still seeing that Fast 2 Pins is way back down in the bottom of the standings yet again. We start the 10th lap here, two laps to go. Fast 2 Pins is still near the bottom of the pack. He really needs to think about following in Black Pirates' footsteps and rehire a new pit crew so he can be able to do better in these races. Big Dogs has extended the split. Now he's 1.29 seconds, almost 0.3 in front of Arrow Frog, who just got passed by Mamonas there as we go through these corners. Mamonas and Arrow Frog only have one more lap after this one to be able to pass Big Dog as the lead is slowly diminishing. Big Dogs is slowly losing ground. Every move count here is a great move by Arrow Frog there. Some chaos through that hairpin. And now the lead from Arrow or Big Dogs has definitely been vanished. Arrow Frog is now trying to come up on Big Dogs and he takes all Almost first place, but Big Dogs is able to take it back as he uh, gains some more momentum here. Just trying to hang on for the rest of this race. As we enter the final lap, Big Dogs is in first place. Mamonas is coming up by storm. And he goes through the drag reduction zone and loses some ground as they go up the booster through the hairpin. And no uh, action there. Mamonas is coming up and drafting Big Dogs, doing everything he can. But he loses some ground there. Big Dogs is trying to take the overall win. Second win in a row in this season. But it's going to be hard as we have... Only a half a lap to go. Can Big Dogs be able to take the win? It's looking like it's going to happen. And Mamonas takes first place at the last second and steals the win. Congratulations to Mamonas. A great move. Holding off until the final lap. I can't believe it. Mamonas taking the overall win in this race. What an accomplishment for Mamonas. Big Dogs coming in at second. He is furious after doing so well in this race. Black Pirates coming in at third place podium for him. Impressive performance. Everything worked out for us in our first victory of the season. Congratulations. That was so exciting. I can't believe we got this victory. Thank you guys. Mamonas definitely excited in this race. We'll have to see how he did in the replays to see just how he stole the win right at the last second from Big Dogs who had the lead for quite a while in this race. Some of the big uh, marbles in this race, Mamonas, Black Pirates, Big Dogs, and Sparky, as well as Arrow Frog, were the main marbles who were fighting for the win today.
As you can see, right at the beginning of the race, Mamona stalled, allowing a lot of other marbles to pass him right at the beginning of the race. And he had to work his way up through the entirety of the race, and it did pay off, eventually taking the overall win. But that's something they have to keep in mind, that you don't want to be able to stall right at the beginning of the race. Something that Mamonas has learned his lesson in. Luckily, he was able to take the win. Big Dogs was in the lead for the majority of the race. Something happened in the last lap, a good move by Mamonas, allowing him to pass Big Dogs right at the last second. Big Dogs definitely upset with today's performance. Look at this crash that happened between Pink Pearl and Arrow Frog. Uh, Arrow Frog having some unfortunate crashes today through that hairpin. Black Pirates doing a good job at drafting Mamonas here. Did he come over and take the lead? Yes, he did right there. I believe that's Black Pirates taking the lead from Mamonas. And Black Pirates did do a good job racing today, ending up getting third place. This is his second podium of the season, the first being back in Shanghai. Big Dogs, though, had the lead and the win in his grasp, but he lost it in the last lap, having a hard time dealing with that today after he wanting to have a second win of the season. No Marble has won twice in this season so far. Pink Pearl trying to do that right at the beginning of the race, but wasn't able to do it, and she lost a lot of ground, ending up in sixth place. You can see Mamonas and Big Dogs right here battling for the first place. Big Dogs taking it from Mamonas as we go through these meandering turns. This really was a uh, polarizing track. You have such a fast and sharp hairpin right after the booster. And after that, it's a very slow and meandering track. Uh, two very different types of racing that these marbles had to be good at both. If they wanted to be able to win in this race. Like that one right there, Arrow Frog taking the lead out of that hairpin. But I guess he's not as good on the meandering hairpins, which is he's going to have to have some work on. And here's the final pass by Mamonas, taking the lead right within the last two corners, uh, only like two seconds before the finish line. Uh, as you can see, Big Dog's trying to take it back at the last second. He almost had it, but didn't quite get it. And now it's time to look at the full results. Mamonas is in first place, Big Dogs is in second, uh, which is not what he wanted to be in, but at least he did get the fastest lap, which gives him another point. Black Pirates is in third place, Arrow Frog is in fourth, Loose Wheel in fifth, Pink Pearl is in sixth place, Night Rivers in sixth. You can see all these big names in these series today are up in these top uh, marbles. And now here are the full results. Big Dogs has taken the lead from Pink Pearl with Loose Wheel in third place. Big Dogs has 72 points, Pink Pearl in 68. Loose Wheel has 61, Arrow Frog is down with 60 points. And Mamonas is still in eighth place. Even though he got first place, he has not made it up any ground in the overall standings. Congratulations to Mamonas for getting first place, Big Dogs in second, and Black Pirates in third place. An amazing race today with the steal of a win from Mamonas from Big Dogs. Big Dogs pouting on second place, but at least he got the overall uh, lead in the standings. Will he be able to keep it in the last three races of this season? We'll have to wait and see. Also, don't forget to go and check out the new Fubeka store, which has all sorts of apparel for all your favorite teams of this series. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you think about Mamona's amazing performance today. I'm Jeremiah, signing off, and until next time, this has been Rebecca's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone. By ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN offers safe web browsing and allows you to view geo-restricted content with the click of a button. Use the link in the description below to get the first three months free on a 12-month subscription. Welcome back race fans to the Marble Circuits 2022. I'm Jeremiah here to welcome you to the qualifying for the Catalonia Grand Prix. In this race, we will be having three qualifying sessions to determine who will start where on the starting grid for race five of the Marble Circuits 2022 here at the Catalonia Grand Prix in Spain. We have a tremendous track for you guys today, a very unique track for the, this season, having a lot of S turns as well as a hairpin and the sharpest U-turn in the history of Marble Circuits right after the booster coming up right there. It'll be the sharpest U-turn 
hairpin that anyone has ever seen in this season. It will definitely be a stratification area for a lot of these marbles who have not done a hairpin this sharp before. Also, a after that hairpin, it is a very slow and meandering track, which is not focused on speed, more on stamina and strategy for these marbles to just be able to hold out against each other in all of these turns. Definitely one of the most high dense turn tracks in any of the seasons so far. Here are the full standings with Pink Pearl in first place with the 60 points. Big Dogs is in second with Loose Wheel in third place. Pink Pearl taking a commanding win last race. She definitely has a uh, win to uh, defend in this qualifying, but she is doing a terrible job right now as we start Q1. They go through the hairpin for the first time, and she is down in second place. Night Rivers is in first place, being followed by Loose Wheel and Sparky as they go through this track for the first lap of two, and Night Rivers is still defending himself there. Loose Wheel and Sparky are battling for second place as they go through this kind of a heart-shaped part of this track as they go and start the second lap of two. DRS has been act deactivated for the first lap of the qualifying as well as for the race as they go through this hairpin yet again. Aerofrog is down in fourth place as he is being uh, pressured by Fast Q pins through these corners. Uh, trying to catch back up to Loose Wheel. He had a terrible race last race. He ended up getting a disappointing 10th place, which is pretty unusual for him. And because of that, he lost his overall lead in the championship standings. And he wants to take it back from Pink Pearl, who is in last place. And she will be eliminated in this qualifying. Ending up in 10th place with Peppers coming in at 11th and Sea Turtles all the way down in 12th place. What a disappointment for Pink Pearl taking the overall lead in last race, now being eliminated in Q1 of uh, race 5 of the Marble Circus 2022. And now for Q2, here we go, and it is Mamonas in the lead, being followed by Aerofrog, who takes the lead through that hairpin there. This is a definite crazy hairpin that all these marbles are going to have to adjust to if they want to be able to do well in this race. Black Pirates is now in second place, withstanding the first qualifying, and he takes first place. And Aerofrog now takes it back. They are fighting for the pole position, as this is a mad dash, only two laps as we start the st second lap here. Aerofrog takes the lead by storm as they go through that long back straight up the booster and up to this hairpin now. They all do good and Mamonas uses the hairpin to his advantage and takes first place from Black Pirates and Aerofrog who are down in second and third at this point. Gold Piston is defending himself from Big Dogs as they go through these meandering turns. The bottom three marbles to be watching right now as we come up to the end of this lap our loose wheel night rivers and fast q pins who are looking like they are going to be eliminated in q2 loose wheel being champion of one of the races as well as night rivers having a great season also being eliminated these two marbles are going to have to have a hard time catching up as well loose wheel did have an amazing comeback in last race will he be able to do it again in this race we'll have to wait and see but now it is time for q3 and we're off up the booster and it is Sparky in lead being followed by Mamonas and Big Dogs. Black Pirates is in fourth place with Gold Piston in sixth. Arrow Frog has now trying to take uh, fifth place from Gold Piston but is having some hard time. Big Dog is now trying to catch up to Sparky as they go through these turns and takes first place. As we start the second lap out of four for this qualifying, there is four laps in the Q3. For these marbles to have a little bit more time to fight over the pole position. Mamonas takes first place there. Now Sparky is in second being followed by Big Dogs. With Aerofog still in the back of the pack. Black Pirates is in fourth. Will he be able to sit on the top two spots in the qualifying in this season? We'll have to wait and see. He made it all the way to Q3 in race 3 and in race 4. After having terrible qualifyings before that. But he hasn't been able to stay up in the top three very often. The DRS is still deactivated for Q4 possibly to help these marbles uh, not be in, at any disadvantage in such a short race as we enter the third lap. Big Dogs is still pressuring Sparky with Mamonas in the lead. 
Mamonas wants his first pole sitter position in this season, but Sparky takes it back. Now Sparky is in the lead when Mamonas is trying to catch back up, but is having a hard time doing so. Aerofrog has not left last place since the start of the qualifying as we start the final lap. Mamonas is in first place. Sparky is in second. Big Dogs now take second place from Sparky through the booster as it go through these hairpins. And Aerofrog is still way behind. Black Pirates is trying to take third place from Sparky. At this point, he is drafting Sparky, but Sparky is able to gain some more momentum as we go through these couple more turns. Only a couple more turns to go. And Mamonas will have his first pole sitter position in this season. And he's looking like it's going to happen. Mamonas is your champion of this qualifying with Sparky in second. Big Dogs is in third place with Black Pirates coming in at fourth. Gold Piston in fifth and Aerofrog ends up in sixth. Halfway up the standings in this starting grid, but it's not going to be good enough. Last race's pole sitter Gold Piston sits in fifth place on the starting grid for this race. Will he be able to come and take the win that he wanted last race that Pink Pearl stole? We'll have to wait and find out as we look at these replays here. They go up to Booster for the first qualifying, and this hairpin is definitely going to be a point of interest for the next race here in Catalonia. It's definitely going to be a hard turn for a lot of these marbles who have never went through this sharp of a turn before. It really has to slow down your speed if you don't want to really ram into the wall in that hairpin which is something that these marbles are going to have to practice, especially right after the booster. All you want to do is just go as fast as you possibly can, but you have to slow down if you want to have a controlled and uh, good turn through that hairpin. Let's see how they do in this hairpin. You see there Mamonas getting pushed up onto the edge of the wall, losing a couple spots. He was in first place, but Aerofrog able, was able to take it from him. That's one of the things that's going to be happening in this race. All these marbles going up on the side of the wall in this hairpin. It's definitely going to be a something that these marbles are going to have a, have a hard time with and going to have to adjust to if they want to be successful in the Catalonia Grand Prix. can see here loose wheel and night rivers being eliminated in q2 definitely a disappointment for them night rivers is having a hard time with the last two qualifying he's gonna have to do better if he wants to be able to take the overall win and the overall championship standings away from pink pearl he's been doing a good job this season but lately he's having a hard time as we come to Q3, Aerofrog was in the back of the pack for the entirety of this race, not even getting uh, to 5th place past Gold Piston, having a hard time even catching up. Uh, he's going to have to have a, a hard time. Oh, he actually did catch up there for briefly, but he did end up getting in 6th place. He's going to have a hard time actually catching up in the actual race. He's starting halfway up the starting grid. Maybe he'll be able to catch up. We'll have to wait and see. But Mamonas will be sitting on pole position, being followed by Sparky and Big Dogs, who it looks like Sparky took second place right before the line in front of Big Dogs. Good, good move there. And now it's time for the pole standings. Mamonas is on pole position with Sparky in second. Big Dogs is in third place. Black Pirate sits in fourth. Gold Piston rounds off your top five. Big Dog, race one champion. Will he be able to take the win this race? We'll have to wait and see. Sparky, not doing, not, he hasn't won a race so far. We'll have to see how he does in this race. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below who you think will be the champion of race five of the Marble Circus 2022 here at the Catalonia Grand Prix. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. And until next time, this is...